I think broccoli cheese soup is actually more about the cheese than it is about the broccoli, which is probably why I love it so much. But a lot of times when we're making a cheese sauce from scratch, you'll end up with a gritty or curdled texture. This recipe has taken every single precaution to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So your broccoli cheese soup is gonna start with the veggies. We're gonna keep it really simple but fresh. In a large pot or Dutch oven over medium heat, Add in six tablespoons of unsalted butter and stir it around until it's entirely melted. Do not let that butter brown. Then you're gonna add one yellow onion, finely chopped, and we're also gonna bring in some matchstick carrots. These carrots are the perfect size for a spoonful of broccoli cheese soup. Add one cup of matchstick carrots to the pot and give it a stir. Let that cook for about six minutes, stirring every now and again until those carrots are softened and easy to bite into. Now you're gonna sprinkle six tablespoons of all-purpose flour evenly over the veggies and stir until coated. The reason that the consistency and the texture of this soup is so superb is because the sauce we're about to make is completely on point. We're gonna use the standard Anthony Kitchen splash and stir method for adding in the chicken broth, and that's gonna create a really smooth and perfectly velvety texture. We did the same thing with chicken spaghetti, the same thing with chicken a la king, and countless of other recipes that I'm going to link to in a playlist when this video is up. You'll need two total cups of unsalted chicken broth. Slowly stream in the half and half, stirring all the while. Again, you'll need two cups total. And continue to stir occasionally until the soup has reached a simmer. Let the soup simmer for about five minutes or until it slightly thickens. You wanna keep that temperature at a medium. Don't try to crank it up to rush the simmer. It's really important that we don't get too hot here. Now we're gonna talk one of the most important parts of broccoli cheese soup, and that is the cheese. For our cheeses, we're gonna use a combination of both cheddar cheese and American cheese. I know a lot of people hate on American cheese, but guess what? It is the meltiest, smoothest cheese on the planet Earth, and it's going to keep your broccoli cheese soup the perfect consistency. Another thing we're gonna do to ensure that your broccoli cheese soup is the literal best ever is grate the cheese and not use a pre-shredded cheese. Add in one cup of grated American cheese, stir that until smooth, then you'll add in one and a quarter cup of grated cheddar cheese. Again, stir until smooth. Now goes in one and a half teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a scant half teaspoon of soy sauce. Now, I know that that ingredient is gonna throw some of y'all for a loop, so let me just explain myself. Soy sauce is really great for adding umami, depth of savory flavor to recipes. All we need is a scant half teaspoon, and you will not believe the difference it makes. So far, this soup has been all about the cheese, but it's broccoli cheese soup, so we gotta bring in the broccoli. Now, you can use fresh broccoli, or you could buy broccoli that you can steam in the bag. It's totally up to you. If you wanna use fresh broccoli, here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna want two broccoli crowns, turn that broccoli crown upside down, and trim away the florets using a paring knife. Then any big florets, you wanna go ahead and cut them into two to three, maybe four pieces, depending on just how big they are. Next, you're gonna equip a medium-sized saucepan with just under a half inch of water. The depth of the water is pretty important because you need enough water in there to steam the broccoli, but you don't want so much water in there that it will come up and over the steamer basket. So your water level needs to be just a hair shorter than the legs of your steamer. Place the steamer basket in your saucepan, and then you're gonna add all of that broccoli in on top. Place it over medium-low heat, pop on the lid, and steam for about 10 minutes. It is best if you're not gonna use that steamed broccoli right away to go ahead and get it out of the pan and into another bowl or vessel. That way the heat from the pan doesn't continue to cook that broccoli and you don't end up with overcooked mushy vegetables. If you wanna use frozen broccoli in a steamable package, you're just gonna cook it according to package directions and that's all there is to it. Add in three to four cups of roughly chopped cooked broccoli, stir, ladle it into a bowl, garnish with extra cheese. If desired, serve and enjoy.